up, yo? This is Ja, aka Sweaters, aka Josh, and I'm here with my boy Ayo, aka Ayo, not the moon, aka the only son, aka the lone son. You dig, you dig, you dig. Thanks, hey. My, my God. Yo, so starting off, like, yo, so just tell people who you are. What, what, what do you do? Um, what do I do? Get money, fuck bitches. <laughs> nah, what do I do? Um, I'm a regular guy. I got a nine to five. It just so happens that I rap really well, <laughs> and um, and that I sing, and that my pen is really, you know, is elite, and that my flows is prolific, and yeah, and I got a story to tell. So that's what I do. I tell stories and shit. So All what's right. what's in your story? Um, I don't want to say life because that's cliche, but it's life, my trials and my tribulations, um, my triumphs. Uh, yeah, like, I just try to be raw, you know? I try to be raw as much as I can. Tell shit like it is, keep it from the heart, from my soul. Or Yeah, and like, you know, I think what, I, for me, what's most interesting about what you do, uh, speaking as somebody who's worked with you, like the work ethic. Oh yeah. Like, talk on that, like your process. Um, as a rapper and as uh, um, as a rapper and as a writer, like speak on that process. <clears throat> I really just started taking rapping serious when I was like 20, 21. I'm 26 now, so it's not even like something where I've been like writing rap since I was like five, how niggas be lying and shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I came out the womb keep with a, a mic. Keep, keep it a book. Keep like, it yeah, like, yeah. I didn't, like, I didn't have no dreams of, like, being some rapper, like, mm. when I was a kid and nothing like that. I would, you know, I thought I was going to be, like, a ball player. Then I wanted to be a cliche entrepreneur and shit. But, you know, life has its plans. Other things happen, you know. And um, I had to go through life. And... Once I went through all the things that I went through, I actually had a story to tell. And then, so when I started writing raps, it became therapy. First, it was just therapy. I didn't really even care about like trying to make songs, songs. Like if it's, a, if it's a song, it's a song, but I was just writing for therapy. And then, you know, once again, just like what happened when I was a kid, I was like, oh shit, I'm kind of good at this. <laughs> like maybe I should like try to take it serious. And which I did. And once I did, it was just like, you know, just kind of manifesting, you know, your destiny. You kind of seeing things like, damn, this happens, this happens, this happens. Maybe this is the path I'm supposed to go. Like another thing, like you know, you you spoke on experience and you know going through trials and tribulations before you really like started rapping. Um, can you give me like a brief overview of what your inspiration is as an artist? Um, just real shit. Cause I feel like I'm an empathetic person. And they say that like, in order for you to, like for most people, in order for you to build empathy, you actually have to go through something. Mm -hmm. Then that's how you're oh, able you to, to relate. Yeah, 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 that's how you're able to relate to others. So like, <clears throat> I'm inspired by like, I don't want to say tragedy, but in a sense, because there's always triumph and tragedy. Like I feel like it's it's rare that there's ever a tragedy and there's not like a light at the end of the tunnel or there's not like some silver lining or something like, you know? And that's like how I try to look at life. Like all, you know, L's, L's is lesson type of shit. Like, you know, that's how, that's how, I, that's how I operate. And that's what inspires me. Like, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think what is so beautiful about what you do and you get, if you, if you all are not privy to this, um, I've worked with this band for like the last three years of my career. So I've literally seen what you're capable of as an MC and as a writer and as a performer too, like the type of energy that you give to the people mm -hmm. is pretty, it, it, it goes pretty like, you know, 180, like it goes from you to the crowd, from you to the crowd. like. Explain that, like, when you're putting your energy into the songs, are you thinking about the audience that you're making the music for? Um, 
I, I would like to say sometimes I do. It depends on the vibe. Most of the times, honestly, I don't. Like, I mean, because, like, first and foremost, like I said before, it's therapy. So it's like my approach usually isn't with a consumer in mind. Mm. But I, I can definitely say that oftentimes I do find myself incorporating because, you know, like, I want my shit to be catchy. I want people to actually want to listen to what I'm saying. Like, if I feel like it's heartfelt, I actually want people to hear it. So, and a way for them to hear it or want to listen to it is, you know, by catering to the consumer or catering to their ear. So, but I feel like it's a balance too, yeah, you know, it so it's, forth, yeah, it's a like, balancing act. And as far as like, as far as performing goes, I feel like if you bring good energy, no matter what, like what the song might be about, you'll get, you know, you'll be able to get a reaction because right. energy is undeniable. Like, you know, yeah, you got, you really got to be a weirdo if motherfuckers standing in front of you and really, you know, trying to put on a show yeah, yeah, and you just dead, stone face. Just go by the Yeah, guys. not trying to vibe, like. Yeah. So, yeah. So, with that being said, um, I've been working on, you know, a new, numerous songs. And I know a lot of it isn't released, but how ready are you to release your music to the people? Um... I would say I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I feel like the song that we recently recorded, that definitely sparked something in me that makes me feel like, you know, because um, every every song is like a, every song is like a child, you know? Mm. And like, I mean, I've never had actual children before, but they say like, you know, if you have multiple children, you love each one differently. So it's like, and every every time I every time we make a song, I'm pretty. I feel like I get pretty addicted to it. Like you know, like I just want to listen to it. I'm thinking about it. Mm. You know, I'm thinking about the potential, what it could do. Some some songs more than others, but with that song, it definitely it's inspiring me to do more, like a lot more. Even though like we already been on it, but yeah. like, so I'm pretty ready. Like. What song is that? The, the Uchiha joint. Oh, the Uchiha yeah. joint. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's um that's a good that's a good launching launching pad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so with that being said, uh what do you feel as if like what do you feel is your future with this art that you're curating? Mm, I feel like I'm definitely gonna be able to quit my nine to five <laughs> and, and and make music off of being I mean make money off of being a full-time musician. Um as far as getting signed to a label, I'm not really worried about that. Cause like um as long as I could feed my family, as as far as right now, like short term goals, as, as long as I could feed my family, that's fine with me. Like I just wanna be able to do music and do music. And I have to worry about you know some other shit. Other, I mean, obviously I'm gonna have other obligations for, for life, but like nine to fives is you know not really a way, but it's a necessity, you know. So I'm doing balanced. what I do for now, yeah, right? Too. Right. So I feel like my future is bright as far as being able to brand, like brand ourselves. And actually being able to monetize the idea and you know of what we're doing because I don't, I don't really feel like what we're doing is really being done right now or even has been done before so I feel like it's definitely something that people could grasp onto and just like both of our stories just like the contrast in it but then how we still are able to like meet and, mesh and still mesh type shit so I definitely feel like People will be able to relate, and we'll be household names, you know, for sure, for sure. I, I know that for a fact. That's Don't worry. Fact. You heard it here first, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, yo, this is Ayo. Yo, you want to drop your IG, your SoundCloud, um, your Bandcamp? I don't know when they can find you at. Word. Um, Y'all can find me on IG at IOE dot not the moon. Um, that's like, I don't know, I'm, I mainly use that to promote, like, our, our music and what we're doing and you know what's, what drops is coming up um 
our band camp is the Lone Sun, which is, you know, our duo name. The Lone Sun, you can find us. Get that straight. Um, my, Lone Sun, NYC. Yeah. And my SoundCloud is, you can find me on the IOE. Streaming platforms coming real soon. This first drop, which, you know, obviously they don't know, but we know. We're getting ready <laughs> to start a campaign where we're going to be having multiple drops per month mm-hmm. of like music and merch and, you know, cool shit like that, videos, visuals. And, um, yeah, and I feel like that's going to be the thing to kind of like make it a real tangible thing, what we're doing, instead of it just being like sporadic drops and, you know, we're just doing things here or there. I had the idea, before, when I first started doing this, I had the idea of, you know, scarcity bringing value and all that. And I'm not really thinking about that right now. I'm more on some like, just, you know, you know, when you're playing 2K, you're putting up a lot of shots and you get the volume shooter badge. <laughs> And then after that, now every game, you just got to put up 20 fucking shots a game to get your points because you're a volume shooter now. That's how I'm feeling. Feeling like I want to be a volume shooter. I'm trying to get that badge. And so, yeah, something going to hit. <laughs> something's going to hit. If I'm putting out mad waves, something's going to hit. So. All right, so, yo, we got Io here. We about to get into this one-minute wrap-up real quick. And you want to spit some shit, right? Ooh. I'm gonna spit some shit. You gonna spit some shit? I'm gonna spit some shit. shit. I'm gonna spit some shit. Stay tuned, y'all. I'm gonna spit some shit. Spooky vibe. My grandma told me watch posh never boil you But she probably ain't consider when you whipping up oil Ever seen a honeybee? How he work and he tell you Ever seen a money tree? It don't grow from the soil You look in the mirror lot Why you act like I know you? Face breaking out, eating too much rappers I told you but I'm in tip top shape Whip it till my wrist bout to break Wake up, take a piss and tell your bitch about face you can't tell me shit about grace She so fucking fine, watch her wine like grapes Money on my mind, plus my mama issues I'm like Mr. Mom when I'm riding with you I might miss the time when I play the strip But look at all the time that my niggas get They say love is blind and it's ignorant It's in every line that a nigga spit Think I need a nine with a bigger clip how you in the loop, but yet you always trying to leave How you got the juice, you eating fruit without the seeds I don't know my roots, but I have been smoking on the trees What do you believe in? What have you achieved? Tell them who was cheating, you or was it me? Odd enough we even, Adam need to eat Morning to the evening, trying to duck the deeds Block is so hot, where the dropping is gon' freeze On my soapbox, with the rocket up my sleeve Chase a bag and cop the bag, that's like a caprice When you getting bread to bath, flock do you like geese? Spooky vibes, probably dressed in all black like a Uchi hot Wishing death on all rats, let my toony fly I'm finessing all facts, I'm finessing fall back and be like, damn Spooky vibes, probably dressed in all black like a Uchi hot Wishing death on all rats, let my toony fly I'm finessing all facts, I'm finessing fall back and be like, damn Spooky vibes Damn, spooky vibes, it be like Damn, spooky vibes Damn, spooky vibes, it be like Damn, spooky vibes Probably dressed in all black like a Uchi hot Wishing death on all rats, let my toony fly I'm finessing all facts, I'm finessing fall back and be like Damn, spooky vibes Probably dressed in all black like a Gucci hot Wishing death on all rats, let my toony fly I'm finessing all facts, I'm finessing fall back and be like Damn, spooky vibes Probably dressing damn, spooky vibes I'm finessing damn, spooky vibes Be like, spooky vibes
Oh, so this is what I was talking with earlier. Um, the sample of the week is the Paul Smith Trio. He sells jazz by the seashore. And this is a live recording. So a tongue twister. You know what I mean? It's a tongue twister. It's fun and you know it's good jazz. You know what I mean? So definitely look this up on YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify. Download it, fuck with it, and whatever cements the best beat is going to be the intro for the next week's episode. So definitely listen to it, vibe out, and digest. We'll see y'all next week. Yeah.